Hi, this is Mrs. Knopf, and today we are going to continue in our method book on the flute with line 38, The Snake Charmer. So we're going to start at the beginning. We're going to break things down, and you're going to pause the video when I tell you to so that you can practice the section that we just went over. So at the beginning, we have our treble clef. We have our key signature with two flats, Bs are flat, Es are flat. Then our 4-4 four, four time signature tells us that we have four beats in every measure and that the whole note would get four beats. Now, as far as four beats in every measure, we do have an anacrusis at the beginning. So the rest of that measure is at the end. One and two and three, here's beat four. Let's break down the, the rhythms. So we have, or the note values. We have a whole note that would get four beats and half of a whole is a half, half of four is two. So half notes, if we had them, would get two beats. Then half of a half is a quarter, half of two is one, so the quarter notes will get one beat. Next, half of a quarter is an eighth, and half of one is a half. So our eighth notes individually get half of a beat. Sometimes they come in pairs, and sometimes they're in groups of four. But either way, the first one in a pair will be the downbeat. The second one will be the upbeat. And that's whether it's in twos or fours, does not matter. Now, this first little section, we're gonna start on an eighth note C, go up to a D, and then we have a quarter note E flat, D, C. So let's play that. Pause and practice. All right, so now our next little section, we're gonna start here on the eighth note C, and it's a lot like the beginning, but we have some skipping around on these eighth notes here. We're gonna land on this quarter note C. So this next section we have C, D, E flat, skip up to G, skip down to D, E flat, skip to the quarter note C. Let's try it. Pause and practice just that part. Okay, next, we are going to pick up with this eighth note E flat, go up to these G's, and stop when we play that eighth note F. So we have E flat, F, G, 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 F. Let's try that. Pause and practice. Our next section is the same thing, but down a step. So we have D, E flat, F, 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 E flat, stop there. Let's try that. So starting on the D. Pause, practice. Now, where we are picking up is just like the beginning, that comes back. So we've already practiced this little section, that was the first thing we did. And then the second thing that we played at the beginning is what we end with. So I'm gonna start at the beginning very slowly and I want you to try to play along and keep up. And one and two and... So, of course, I don't expect you to nail that right away. I want you to take it slowly. I want you to find the most troublesome parts. Most likely, these eighth notes that skip around a bit, practice those. Play them slowly. Work your way back up. Um, start every note with a t sound. And when you are ready, put it together. Use a metronome to help you. I was playing at 72 beats per minute. And um, you will get it. I hope this helps. And we'll see you next time.